welcome back. Thanks so much for being with us. Uh, Nick Kovacs is here for a program or a benefit that he's having. It's called YIPS. Hi, Nick. Hello. YIPS. What's in, YIPS? YIPS stands for Youth and Public Service. Okay. okay. Is that your organization or is it something that you yes, I'm joined? A, yeah, I started the organization myself and I hope to, over the next couple of days, make it an official organization with a board of directors. Oh, wow. Okay, board of directors for what board of directors? Uh, board of Directors, because otherwise it's not an official organization. Right. Okay, okay, you're making, a, yeah. making, making it with a board of directors. You're making yeah. the organization with a board of directors. Who's going to be on the board, do you know? Well, I'm talking to uh, Ken Bailey later today, okay. and over the next couple of days I'd like to talk to Patty Methman about it. Okay. Oh, well, great. Well, good. What, what, what is this organization, um, what's your goal, your mission? Our goal is to help improve Harrison, to get youth jobs, and to bring in more tourism without raising taxes. Yay. Okay. I think you should be a politician. No, I'm just <laughs> How old are you? I'm 16. Well, good for you. Do you work somewhere now or? Um, yes, I am currently often at the park with my golf cart where I sell ice cream from the box I in the back. I saw you yesterday. Okay. Cool. Yes, we're actually uh, trying to raise the money for the improvements through several means. One of which is the uh, summer concert series. Okay. It's the next five weekends in summer here, and we hope to do a follow-up for in the fall. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm -hmm. I've seen some flyers out about that, so can you talk a little bit more about the summer series? Or Yes, the uh, concerts are at the Mini Harris Park stage. It's at 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays, okay. and then 1 to 8 on Sundays. Mm -hmm. And local musicians? or All local musicians. And did you help? To organize all this and yes. get the musicians on board and all? Yes, I've also got uh, several other YIPS members helping me. Okay, um, I have a question. What was I going to ask him? <laughs> oh, my God, did you have a little brain lapse there? I did. I had a little brain I have that most of the day. Is there a charge for the... No, it's free it? admission to every concert, although I will be passing out a plate for donations. Ask for donations mm -hmm. then. And who else is on this... Um, who else is involved in the organization with you? Well, currently I've got Devin Kovacs, Andrew Adkins, Emily Best, Takara Watkins, Rebecca, and Chris Bogardis. All younger. Yes. Yeah. And and so see, the thing is, with uh, youth my age, it's as hard as it is to get a, for anyone to get a job around here. It's especially hard for people my age because you have to have the experience to get a job, but you have to have the job to get experience. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And I hope to uh, alleviate some of the problem there by getting youth jobs around town. And how mm -hmm. do you propose to try and make that happen? Well, as the uh, concert, picks, concert series picks up speed and we start moving along more, <coughs> I hope to be hiring youth to help out with it. Oh, okay. Also at the concerts, I'll have uh, craft booth activities. And you, there'll be uh, drinks and snacks to buy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, the, the the business you have, you kind of had that for an idea, and then you want to expand on on the fact that you want to, in order to make more money, you need to bring more people in to 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 to, to garnish your profit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then you said you are you are selling ice cream now. That's ice cream and drinks down at the park. Okay. Mm. Awesome. Also. Um, Another major way we intend to raise money for the improvements is by aluminum can recycling. If you work it out person per person, it adds up to about $100,000 a year worth of scrap aluminum out of cans alone in just Harrison. That's not including any other scrap in Harrison or anyone outside of Harrison. Mm -hmm. wow. Now, realistically, we can't bring in all the 100000 from Harrison, right. but we can bring in people from out of town still in the county and we can possibly raise one hundred to one hundred and fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars a year off scrap aluminum, and that's not including any other scrap metals. So, how, so go ahead. I was going to say, how are you going to make that happen? Do you have people bring the aluminum cans to some certain area, and you well, all will return them? Or? The way I'm trying to do this is to get as many local businesses as possible to offer themselves as drop points. Okay. Because the problem with collecting aluminum cans before has been any in one place will get overwhelmed. Right. But if half the businesses in town are drop points, mm -hmm. then no place will be overwhelmed and you can just go into town and pretty much drop your cans off anywhere. Mm -hmm. mm. Make it convenient for people. Mm. So we need to save our aluminum cans. We do. I mean, we should anyway, but I mean, we need to save them for this. Yeah. 
When's this uh, going to kick off? Well, um, over the next couple weeks, I'm uh, still contacting businesses. Okay. Okay. I'm also uh, planning on getting together a bi-weekly handout, sort of like a paper. And I'll be printing off 5,000 copies every two weeks and handing it out to people at the mm -hmm. park via the, my golf cart. Mm -hmm. Okay. How, how, how are you funding that? Well, I what mean, I'm you... planning to do is uh, get business sponsorships. Okay. I've already got Jeff Crockett, our mayor, offering a business sponsorship for that. Good and in deal. return for a sponsoring, I will print your ad in the bi-weekly handout, right. and I'll have a poster, a banner, or a sign up at the concerts. You're a little entrepreneur, aren't you? Thank Good you. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> so That's I, great. I, I would assume that there's businesses out there watching this program that, that may be interested. How can they get a hold of you? I have a phone number, 870-688-4943. Um, and that number's on the screen. You can jot that down if you'd like to. Uh, and that will call you directly? Yes, yeah, that's my okay. direct cell phone that's number. That's Nick okay. Kovacs. Okay. Now, now this, is, this is all well and good during the summer. School starts. How are you going to? How are you going to continue to make this thing go? Well, there, in terms of the concerts themselves, there may be a bit of a break. Right. And I may end up just delivering the bi-weekly handouts to door to door. Mm -hmm. and, but I plan on having a spring set as well as the uh, summer and fall set mm -hmm. of concerts. Mm -hmm. well, what about, what about right. uh, winter time? Do you have anything planned for that or is that just time off? I don't have anything planned for that yet, but if I can think of something, I'll throw it in there. Okay. All right. Well, we're glad to see someone that's so well organized and has this vision and is doing what it takes to see it come Thank about. You. So, well, well, don't get uh, bogged down in all the red tape of things that that doesn't happen. Just keep just keep going. Things will things will happen. It's a lot My of red tape. tape. <laughs> well, there is a lot of red tape. You're you're starting to find that out, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm learning a lot as I go along. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, stay after the projects that make the most money and the ones that take a lot of time you probably don't want to involve yourself in. If yeah. you want any advice from me, because we, we get into that a lot here. A lot of things that, that we would love to do, you just can't do because it just takes too much time, too much resources. So, hey, congratulations and good luck to Maybe you. Maybe you can and come back and update us yeah. after a period Please of time do. or something. A few weeks okay. or something? Yeah, we could get you back and right before school starts and see how, how it's going yeah, throughout the summer. Fun. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Nick. Good Thank luck to you. you. Great. All right. Let's uh, let's go to uh, the world's largest baby fair. That's coming up pretty soon, and Marsha Carter is going to tell us all about it. I didn't know it was the lar world's largest. Is that the Guinness Book of World Records? Great idea. It's a great idea. We'll find out. Stay with us.